Good morning, everybody. Welcome in to Craft Hour with Triple C. I'm Dana, aka Triple C. Come on in, hit that thumbs up, share this stream out. It is Craft Hour, guys. Happy Friday, y'all. Woohoo! It's Friday for many of us, and today many of us are able to relax, or this is the last day of the week for us to go to work. For those of us who are working on today, just stay safe, stay warm, or stay cool. If you're burning up, I know the summer is in full effect for many of us, where many of us were wondering when it was coming, and now that it's here, some of us are like, when is it leaving? But unfortunately, it's just begun. So guys, get ready for those high temps, the suntan lotion or sunscreen, I should say. Uh, also, don't forget to make sure you stay cool because we don't want to deal with any type of heat exertion, heat exhaustion, or any type of heat stroke, all right? So please, 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 guys, keep hydrated in this season. Also, don't forget to stay cool. Um, if, if you're doing a lot of movement and, and, you know, engaging in physical activity, remember to hydrate and remember to take breaks, all right? It doesn't mean that you are out of shape or I'm talking about myself. It doesn't mean that you're out of shape or doesn't mean that you can't handle it, but it just also means that you have to let your body uh, actually recover from all those movements, all right? So don't forget, okay? Uh just make sure you stay safe, but have a good time. It is that season where it's summertime. Many of us were locked in uh, during that pandemic, locked in during those winter months. And now we are able to get a little bit of that uh, freedom and also get a little bit of that vitamin D. It does something for us. It really, really does. Give it a try. Even if you're not necessarily a person who likes to get out, you know, you're introvert, whatever else. Get on your porch. You don't got a porch. Sit on the front of your in the front of your house. Pull a chair up. Get your little lawn chair, a little any type of chair, and sit right in front of the door. Whatever you have to do uh, in order to get some of that vitamin D, I'm telling you, it will make a huge difference. All right. So with Craft Hour, it has almost been three years of doing this. October 26, 2023, I'll celebrate three years of doing Craft Hour. That's right, guys. Coming in, praying, greeting everyone, and then jumping straight into the craft. So almost three years of celebrating, of, of doing this craft hour, different crafts, paper crafts, beading, uh, jewelry making, stitch marker making, tea giveaways. I mean, so many different things has happened over these years, and it has been a very beautiful time, but I've not done it alone. So I thank you all for making this journey with me and going and traveling, whether you are here now, whether you were there in the past, whether you are coming in the future. Thank you so much. I will start now with this prayer because we have a crab we've been working on, y'all. And I didn't, I, I told you guys, I kind of was getting to that point where I was burning out, burning myself out because I was doing all these crabs and I wasn't finishing them, guys. I started getting back into my whip city, my whip city, my whiplash, I mean, all the whippery. And if you don't know what a whip is, it means work in progress. So I had so many works in progress because I was starting all these things and burning myself out. It was just like, no, I don't want to. Now, I started this project yesterday, which was from Nana's Crafty Home. Hey, Nana. I'll tell you more about it after the prayer. But I said, you know what? We're going to take this after after the craft hour. We're going to keep this baby going because I need to make some progress on it. So let me pray so I can tell you more about it. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come to you humbly and boldly before your throne, thanking you for who you are, thanking you for being our provider, thanking you for being our lover, thank you for being our shield and our buckler, thanking you, Father God, for being our shelter in storms, Father God, thanking you for covering us, Father God, healing us, Father God, thanking you for teaching us, guiding us, filling us up with your love, your power, and Father God, your wisdom. On this morning, God, I come to just lift you up and magnify you as I begin to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Father God, I say hallelujah, which is the highest praise. And God, I want to give you the highest. I want to give you the best. I want to give you all of me. Father God, not half, not just a little, because when I ask you, Father God, when I cry out to you, you don't give me just a little. Father God, when I ask you to rescue me from me, Father God, you save me. Father God, and not just a little bit, but you remove me from the entire situation, the entire thought process, the entire nightmare that I'm feeling like I'm in. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, I come to you, thanking you, giving you glory and praising you because you deserve it all, God. And I understand that if it wasn't for you, I would not be here. And God, since you gave me this chance on today, I want to just, I want to rejoice and be glad in it. God, I understand someone didn't wake up on this morning. So I have to be glad in the day that you blessed me with. Father God, I had to utilize the minutes, the seconds, the hours that you gave me on today into the best of my ability, God. And if I feel like I'm straying, Father God, if you notice that I'm I'm going the wrong way, if you notice that I'm speaking the wrong words, if you notice that I'm looking the wrong way, Father God, I'm asking that you begin to correct me, God, help to correct me, Father God, I understand that I am not perfect, but Father God, I, I'm asking that you begin to perfect me, Father God, 
I'm asking she begin to cleanse me, Father God, of everything that is not like you, Father God, whatever it may be, God, on this morning, but don't just do it for me, Father God, do it for my family and friends who want the same, do it for my family and friends who desire deliverance from whatever it may be, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come to you and I thank you on this day for what you're going to do, God, because I understand if you did it again, if you did it before, you'll do it again. So, Father God, on today, I'm asking that you begin to touch those who are working, those who are driving, Father God, those who are dealing with any financial issues, those who are dealing with worry and doubt and fear, those who are stressed out on this morning, those who are dealing with anxiety, suicidal thoughts, depression. Father God, I'm asking that you begin to wrap your arms around them and send your ministering angels, your guardian angels. On today, touch those who are uh, fighting for our countries and fighting for our communities. God, cover those on this morning under the sound of my voice listening now, the replay or in the background. God, be with them. Touch them. Bless every seat of those who come in with thumbs up, commenting, those who subscribe, those who join our membership, those who uh, send a super chat, cash at PayPal. God bless their seats a thousand times more. Father God, I thank you for everything that you're done, everything that you're doing. God, you're so awesome and you're so great and you're so worthy. Father God, touch the children and the youth and the students who are home over the summer break. Father God, bless them as they are doing different things with family and friends. But Father God, I'm asking you begin to keep them safe, Father God. I'm asking you begin to give them wisdom and knowledge to Father God to follow uh, what is right, Father God, but also to be able to lead those who don't know what right is. Follow, help them to lead those who don't even know where to go. On today, God, I'm asking that you begin to touch those who are in nursing homes, rehabilitation centers, those who are homeless, those who are in prisons, those who are in jail cells on this morning. Father God, touch those who are dealing with grief and mourning, who lost loved ones. Father God, who are still hurting, who are dealing with that heartache, who don't understand how to get free from that heartache, how to be mended on today. Father God, I'm asking that you begin to mend your children who feel broken, who are scared to ask for help. Father God, I understand what it's like not to want to ask for help, but need it. So on this morning, Father God, for your children who don't like to ask, Father God, I'm asking that you begin to just give. I'm asking that you begin to just pour. I'm asking that you begin to just rain down on this morning, Father God, from the crown of our heads to the very soles of our feet. God, I'm asking that you begin to replenish us, restore us. Father God, I'm asking that you begin to refuel us. Those who are tired, those who are drained, those who are confused, those who feel fully covered in pressure and heavy. I'm asking that you put on the whole garment of praise upon us on today. I love you, Lord. I thank you for this craft hour. I come against and bind up any type of trolling, spamming, cyberbullying, and technical difficulties. God, it is you that it is you uh, that is keeping us here, that has woken us up on this morning, that has lifted us up, that has provided. And I don't take you lightly. I don't take your blessings lightly or your love lightly. So on this morning, I come to you in this prayer in your son Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, family. What y'all got going on? Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Craft Hours. Me, Triple C, Dana. Uh, we're crafting on today. I hope you're coming to craft with me. Y'all coming to craft with me? If you're not, don't worry. Just bring your coffee, bring your tea, and bring some good conversation. How about that? All right? So um, it's a great day, guys. I'm telling you, it's Friday. Everybody happy about Friday? Some of us don't have to work today. Some of us do. Uh, some of us are just going to be relaxing. Some of us are trying to figure out what we got going on. I understand even though it's summertime, we like to sit in the pools and get a little, you know, barbecue or whatever it can be, but it still calls for yard work. It still calls for wearing off or whatever it is so we don't get bit up from mosquitoes. It still calls for, you know, dealing with a little heat when sometimes we don't want to, but I still like the fact that many of us are finding things to do and get out to do them, right? Because that indoor, the indoor fun can work for just so long. And out, it's nothing like that outdoor fun. It's nothing like it. I'm telling you, especially after I've, I've shed a few, a few pounds or two. I'm telling you, I don't mind that heat. I'm telling you, it's. I, I was, I, I was asking my husband over and over again. I said, "Honey, I wonder when I lose this weight, the summer comes, will I be able to enjoy the summer like you know the heat?" Because I'm telling you, when when I was dealing with that over 300, okay, it felt like I was in 300 degrees because I'm telling you, I was sweaty, I'm upset, I'm angered. You should see the face. The faces, okay, the faces was filled with anger because I was so, <laughs> I was so mad about the heat. I'm like, oh, I'm not going outside. Nobody even really asked me. Like, <laughs> it would be all kind of parties and engagements going on outdoors. I'm in the house. I'm not touching that heat, right? Not out there sweating, not roasting <laughs> like chestnuts. I'm in the house. Y'all can enjoy that heat all you want, but I was definitely not a part of it. Now, hey, I'm telling you, I, I don't mind a little heat these days, especially because it's so cold in here. So it really balance up, balances out. I see Reese in the building. Mr. Full Tan P. Air, y'all get in the building. Thank y'all for, um, thank you for receiving that prayer. It's a blessing. You know, like I said, none of us are perfect. 
It's not about being perfect. It's just about getting better. You know what I'm trying to say? Like each day, and you don't even realize it. A little bit each day, you get become better and better at whatever it is. If you, if you, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, but it's just a beautiful thing. So we have been working on some crafting. Hey, Donna. Good morning. Good morning, family. I know I got to sing out goodies out. I had to get some new stampings because my stamps, I want forever stamps, honestly, but whatever. Um, I'm going to get all my stuff sent out. Uh, Donna, can you email me? What is that that you wanted? I cannot remember exactly the flavor. Please, please, please forgive me. Hey, Griffin family. Happy Friday to y'all too. What's going on? We got some good family here today, y'all. So we have been working on some crafting and it has been this... Uh, let me get, let me pull it up because I want to give you guys the exact name what it's called. Oh, Lord, thank you, Facebook family. Mr. Fulton's over there on Facebook. Shout out to my Facebook family, my Instagram family. If you're over here, hello, hello, hello. Um, let me see what am I doing here. I don't understand why is that popping up. I don't, I'm not using that engine. But anyways, what I'm looking for, guys. Oh, what we're doing for today. Let me give you guys what we're doing today. Uh, Donna, no C2C today. <laughs> Donna, I had to let the C2C take a break. The C2C, aka the latch hooking. Is over there with the mat with the mosaic. Okay, they over there. They're, they're talking, plot, probably plotting against me because I haven't picked them up in a while. Uh, anyways, hopefully they don't take me out. Uh, I'll let you know if, if you if you, if I go missing too long, you know what happened. All right, I've been whipped out. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's see here. I'm going to share with you what we're doing today. It is actually called the Spring Me Forward. Shout out to Nana's Crafting Home. Nana, Nana, Nana's not playing any games when it comes to. Uh, when it comes to her craft, all right, this young lady is doing some great things. I'm talking shawls, wraps. I'm talking about you name it, all right? Beautiful stitches and a lot of easy things. I like the fact that she uses a lot of yarn like Mandela's or cupcakes from Lion Brand. Hey, Lion Brand, because they're self-striping. And many of us, I'm not speaking of all of us, but many of us, if you're speaking of me, we do not like to get into changing all these yarns, tying them in. I know we can do Russian knots, secret knots, closed up knots, open knots. We can do all these attachment, uh, different types of technique, right? But goodness gracious, guys, I'm going to be honest. Who enjoys taking and tying or adding new yarns in when the yarns can just flow together automatically without any type of extra work, right? I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so what I've been using today for this particular craft, yesterday I started anyways, is this Mandela yarn. It is called Nafleur's Nafleur's. I understand you can't see it necessarily because of my green screenery. You'll see it uh, overhead in a second. You say, oh, no worries. My life is a little busy later. Hey, hey, no worries. Hey, Donna. <laughs> I know, Donna. I'm finally getting organized, so it feels really good now. Hey, I know I said I was organized before, but now I'm getting a lot. Hey, I'm getting a lot more organized. But again, I'm taking. I'm trying to take every day by at a time. I'm, I like usually I would try to do like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll think on this large scale, like no large scale when it comes to my organization. Like, I have to take the babyest steps ever like because <laughs> like, I'm not there yet. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm not there. When you're not there yet, you have to take every little baby step. When you're there, you're like, oh, okay, cool. You know, I can let a couple of things get right on the tabletop. I'm good. Like, no, now I can't let anything go on the tabletop yet. Like, I don't trust myself to let something get on the table anymore because I have to get, you know what I'm trying to say? Certain things. I'm getting better at that. So whatever. That's another story. I'm going to be 36 soon if the Lord lets me get there. So I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, reach a couple goals before that 36. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm cramming it in. I'm cramming it in. Uh, so uh, I'm going to share with you what we're working on today, and we're going to have some fun with this. Okay, so let's get into it. Please let me know what your weather is, where you are today, what you're nibbling on. If you got a little breakfast, some of you guys are eating a little eggs and bacon. Some of you are getting ready for your day. Some of you are just still in that bed, like you know, it's early. I don't know how you got that much energy. I don't know where it came from. Put some in a bottle. Pour me a cup of it. Hey, I don't know where it comes from, but I think it's just the excitement of the, of the craft and the family that we have here. I enjoy being here. When you enjoy it, guys, you're going to get that energy and you're going to get that time and you're going to have that excitement. Last night we did a live stream, which was super amazingly fun. Uh, I know it was super late, but we did a live stream cooking and we were not planning on cooking that late. The time had just went by and by and by uh, and we wanted to have things set up. We didn't want to really do a lot of setup on cam. So we were trying to get a lot of the, um, what would I say, the cooking utensils and things prepared to see exactly how we were going to do it. You know what I'm trying to say? So that's what a lot of that was. We were trying to get things set up and it was just awesome for me and my husband to be in that kitchen together. And I love it. I love the fact that we can actually get in there together now because I'm telling you, we would, we would be a lot of bumping and 
you know, my husband doesn't like me bumped. I don't like me bumped. So we're bumping each other, trying to eat. Imagine being hungry and just bumping each other. We, I tap into hung, hanger spirits. Hey, Cindy Boucher, I tap into hangry spirits, okay? I don't know if my husband does. I think he does too. He doesn't necessarily always paint them, but he taps into them as well. And so imagine two hangry people in the kitchen bumping each other. It's like poking a hungry bear. And we're like, I mean, come on. So after so long, it's not the funnest thing to bump into each other. We could work in the kitchen. If I'm at a tabletop, he's in this part of the kitchen. But now, hey, now we are out. We're maneuvering around that thing. It felt good. We made some food. I tapped into my normal, regular, everyday dish, my salmon, my salad, my sweet potato. And my husband made up a little bit of that catfish, guys, because he said, hey, at the end of the day, I don't eat fried foods, but if it's got to be fried, if it's got to be fish, it has to be fried. And I don't blame them because some people are not eating baked fish like me or grilled fish or uh, um, uh, what else? Grilled baked or um, like air fried or anything like that. They're, they got, hey, you got to drop that, baby. You got to batter it and you got to fry it. So I'm not mad at him for that, for that because I understand certain things for me. I have to have certain ways. I can't, uh, I can't go around it and I'm not willing to like my dressing. I'm gonna go. I'm. A, I, I've did. I've done fat free. I've done light, but it just ain't right. So again, I'm full. I'm full fledged on my dressing. My dressing is all the way there. It's got every calorie. Now again, I understand. I have two tablespoons will get me 160 calories. Do I want to go over that? Not really. So I just got to make sure I measure it out, and I'm good. You know what I'm trying to say? So. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. Please check out my newest video, which is letting you guys see a bit of my yarn for the yarn tree giveaways. I hope y'all are making your yarn trees, guys. Seriously. And the better, and I'm going to be throwing out there, like the better you get, the creative you get. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you just throw something together, sure, I love it. But if you take it to another level, if I see someone who takes it to another level, like seriously, like I'm just sending you, like you're going to be a guaranteed winner. You have you watched um, America's Got Talent when they hit that gold buzzer, like wow, uh, I don't know, my sound effects. If you make a tree like that and you, you're you automatically winning, I don't even care. Like I'm just going to stop everything and send you the yarn right then and there. Of course, I want to have multiple winners. So don't get scared and be like, oh, no. But if you have like that, if you have something right now, you can take it to another level, either outdoor tree, indoor tree, and you start hanging yarn and adorning it and taking it to another level. Like, hey, if you put that work in, like, oh, I really did this. I really wanted to do this. Hey. I mean, it might not be, you might not be to get it done in one day. You might take some time. You might have to call a neighbor. You might have to call some kids if you're doing a tree outside or indoors. But if you take it to another level, you get that golden buzzer. I'm throwing it out there. I'm throwing it out there. Y'all saw the yarn, okay? I, I'm not playing any games. I have plenty of yarn for you guys. But if you really take it to another level that you really care and you just like say, you know, let me really, let me really take my time with this and really do my best job ever. Um, if you really do, get some creative ideas. If you can just Google trees and you can look at different trees. Google Christmas trees, Google, you know, decorative trees, whatever it may be. Because I know some people don't celebrate Christmas. I understand that. It's not about Christmas anyways. It's just about a tree and yarn hanging because we say money doesn't grow on trees. And then I think of one of my favorites, which is yarn. And I'm like, oh, what if yarn grow on trees? So I got this concept and I wanted to hang my yarn from a tree. Yes, I had the energy as well as the um, the accessibility to a tree that was close by where I could hang uh, yarn now, again, I don't want anyone to go outside and hang yarn from a tree if you cannot. If you have children that can do it, yes, do so. If you want to have teenagers, I wouldn't say this is their little babies and possibly don't film that because YouTube does not like that. But uh, if you do have a youth or something that can help out in that area, do so. Or if you have a tree in the house or a plant that's artificial that you can hang, do it. But if you take it to another level, guys, if you make a tree and it's like to the next level, you're winning that yarn automatically. So I'm just throwing it out here. Anybody was like really like oh man you know what i'm trying to say like you really just for real you you might as well hang it up you're going to take some yarn home and i'm talking 12 to 20 cakes of lion brand mandela yarn okay hey what's going on what's going on sis DIY? you better get in here hey get your treat come on sis i know sis sis is creative so she's probably gonna she's going to win a golden buzzer i feel in my spirit not to be like that i'm sorry guys i'm not trying to be but she's just she's she's a full throttler uh, you know, I learned a lot from this young lady. So she taught me a lot about that full throttle, that hard work, that, that, uh, uh, you know, um, when you see somebody as a full throttler, it's, it makes you want to be a full throttler It not in an envious way, but it's like, man, okay, cool. I got somebody that's, you know, that's, that's, uh, inspiring me. Like, okay, okay. This is what I got to look forward to. You know what I'm just saying? Hey, so shout out to Sis D.O. How you feeling this morning, Lord? Get in here. So I'm going to show you guys what we're working on today. So we can have some fun with it. This is what we've been getting into, guys. Which is um this by Nana's Crafty Home guy and yeah tell a friend too tell a friend I'm doing this all the way to December first 
So I wanted to have like different winners every single month. I'm like, you guys gotta take it to another level, guys. Come on. I want to have a different winner every month and the December first be like the last time because I want to get stuff out before Christmas time and people the shipping is gonna be everywhere, stuff's gonna come late to people and I already know how that can be. So I just wanted to kind of get it done. You know, I wanted to have different winners, you know. Uh, so yeah, tell a friend, like let other people know, like this may be a yarn tree, guys. A yarn bush. It doesn't have to be like the craziest thing, but I really would like creativeness. Like I just, I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. Don't just throw something together and be like, oh, this is what it is. Like, like you know what I'm trying to say? Like, really try to take your time. It doesn't have to be done like in 20 seconds. Like, if it takes you a day or two or even a week, it doesn't really matter as long as it's like really, really, you know what I'm saying? Like really nice. It's you know, so like just take your time and make it do your best. You know, don't just throw something together, like you know, just really seriously love on it. It's your it's our craft, it's our art. It's not just for you to get it's not just for a video. This is actually creative. When you when you make creative content, YouTube actually um pushes your videos out more when they see that you actually made it like really creative like oh wow this is really nice you know what I'm trying this is really creative i don't know who's like over like looking at creativeness but the creative the more creative the video the more you'll get pushed and you don't even realize you're like why am i getting views on this because some somehow you passed the test so this particular pattern is called the spring me forward triangle scarf oh i'm so glad it's called a triangle scarf <laughs> guys can i tell you something I wasn't sure if this was a triangle scarf or was it a shawl. I couldn't remember the name. I was on the porch working on this baby. And I'm like, oh, please, Lord, don't let it be a shawl. Please don't let it be a shawl because I want to use one cake. I said, Lord, I don't want to use two cakes. I want to be done. I want to be done. <laughs> I don't want to do two cakes. One cake is for me. So shout out to Nana who's giving us one cake projects. Oh. So I was like, I don't want to do two cakes. I want to be done with this. I want to move on. I'm hungry for like new stuff, you know? So um, I have this here and I'm so glad it's a triangle scarf. We started working on this baby and um, we're going to do so many more rows on it. And then we're going to work on that edge. Um, and so I was like, what can I do with this baby guys? I got to take some pictures. I want to get, get it done and then take some pictures of it. I don't know how to rock these things. So I was like, Ooh, Jean, 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 I'm sitting on the porch. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sitting on the porch last night or yesterday afternoon, evening. I was on there all day. I was on the porch so long that I dozed off on the porch. All right. I got me some of that vitamin D. I know it's cold in the house. Thank you, Cindy Boucher. Thank y'all. What y'all working on? What y'all nibbling on? What kind of weather y'all got going on this morning? I'm rambling a little bit. So y'all talk a little bit that way. Hey, if y'all want to chime in, y'all can. If y'all just want to listen, that's more. I'm more than a. Hey, whatever you want to do, I appreciate that. As long as you give me some thumbs. All right. All I need is my thumbs. Now, if you want to donate anything else, you want <laughs> your time, your thumbs, everything, your comment, everything, you know, your subscriptions, everything, your, your donations, <laughs> everything, Um, you know, you're joining everything. But anyways, whatever you do tonight is game night. I want to make it audience based. If possible, if nobody wants to come up, I really want to make it audience based. I want to do some games for the audience, for everybody in the chat. That means we're going to play some fun games. And uh, next week, I do want to tap into a bingo. We haven't done bingo, a.k.a. Tringo, in a very long time. I'm like, oh, I forgot about Tringo. Nobody's been reminding me. So starting Monday, I'm going to ask for those numbers, all right? So don't forget, we'll do some Tringo. We're going to have some fun prizes. My husband's already been looking for prizes. He's like hungry. Uh, so I'm excited about that. So we got the prize. We got the fun. We got the games next week. But tonight is game night, so we'll have some fun. Dr. Katrina has inspired me from Mind for and More to do some wording. I love the word puzzles that she does, and I always like um miss out on them i like i try to do my you know when i can but hey i'm going to rob her okay it's not when you, when we have family we rob our family right all right like my daughter i go in there and i take her makeup daily okay yes does she hide it from me sometimes does she get tired of me doing this sometimes yes but at the same time she stole my body so guess what now i have to work hard to get it back did she help me get it back no so i will steal from her so dr katrina being my family i'll steal from her her puzzles or ideas but again i will give her her credit, right? I'll give her her credit. I'll shout her out in the stealing process. That's how you got to do it. Steal, but just give them credit. That's how we do it, okay? Let me see what my weather is, guys. I'm going to show you what I wanted to do for this particular shawl or scarf. <laughs> I'm so glad it's a scarf, guys. I'm telling you, I said, oh, Lord, please don't be a shawl. I'm going to tell everybody it's a scarf because I, I can't make it. In them. I'm done. 71 degrees here, guys, and we are talking about a total or a high of 81 here in my city, all right, on the outskirts of Notre Dame University, um, and uh, let's see, or the University of Notre Dame, uh, let's see here, uh, tomorrow is going to be some rain, oh my, but again, I'm glad I'm getting some work done today, I'm not stressing over the rain, because guess what, we got to have it sometimes, right, the weather's beautiful, there is it, ooh, okay, so, ooh, you're working on some ruffle hats, those ruffle, I got to have them, I have to have some too, I haven't made any ruffle hats, I've been doing like the, you know, the, these type of hats, a little buckety. I've been tapping into some bucket spirits around. 
but I haven't tapped into the rough one. I love the rough one. I, says Jeanette, aka Saraya A. You're going to make me want to tap into some of that ruffle now uh, because I love it. So I've been doing these little buckety, <laughs> bucket me, <laughs> bucket me. No, kidding me. Don't, don't fall off wig. Don't come stay wig. Stay, stay. Okay. Stay at the altar. But anyways, I've been doing those with the, the, the little uh, cross bodies, but those ruffles, you just made me think about it. At first I thought about a chip and I was like, mm, yum. But then I said hat. So with this shawl or scarf, guys, I'm going to show you what it looks like. We're going to work on this baby. Okay, I don't mind my little armage. But uh, we're going to, I'm going to tie it like this. I wish I could see more. I might take my green screen off, guys. Let me see. Where's the green screen at? Where's it at? I'm going to take my screen off for a second, okay, guys? Because we need to see this. We need to see all of it. All of this. All of this. Okay? All of this. Okay. Hey, y'all hit the thumbs up, guys. You said those buckets are so, I know they are. I love them. I love, I mean, I'm not sure. I don't really rock them. I'll rock them for my pictures. I don't rock them all the time. I need to start rocking them more though. I need to. I don't know why, but I'm going. I'm probably going to start. But these are these are my prototypes. I've been making them with acrylic yarn because I'm not going to waste my good cottons until somebody says, "Hey, I need this order." You know, so uh, I don't want to have too many things made up because I already have too many things made up, and I haven't been doing any craft fairs or putting anything on the website because I've been slacking. So I was like, I need some jean. I just decided I'm like, who has a jean jacket? I know I don't. So I know my kids do. So. I mean, me getting a little smaller, guys, I'm able to steal from my children uh, because they're getting bigger and I'm getting smaller, right? So my son, of course, I love stealing from my son because I know he's going to get bigger, not in a bad way, but a muscular way. So I'm loving it. I'm like, son, grow those guns. Son, grow those guns. Every time the guns grow, it's a, I'm able to fill in there, you know? So I'm loving it. I know he had a blue jean jacket. I know my daughter did too. Couldn't find hers. Round. <laughs> I was looking. So I, was, I found my son's. I was like, ooh, let's get son's jacket. You want to try to make a bucket? Please do make a bucket hat. I want to do some of those African squares too. The African squares, African flowers. So I was like, oh, let me see how it's going to work, guys. So let me see. I'm hoping this will work because I'm going to go outside and take a couple of pics. I like to get my little pic take on with my with my items so that way um, I can advertise it and put it on my website. But everybody, everybody always wears these. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to write. I don't know how it's going to work, but everybody always wears these triangle scarves with little jeanery. And I'm like, I don't have any jeanery, but can I do it? So I won't share my bottom when I'll take my pictures, like, you know, my bottom half, because it'll probably be such miscellaneous pants or <laughs> it'll be like some workout pants. It'll be something like super miscellaneous. It, it may be something super off the wall color. I, I don't know. Like when I'm at home, guys, like, hey, you don't know what kind of pants I got on, guys. Those, those babies ain't matching. I'm saying that one. If I'm not, if I'm not going to church or we're going somewhere, guys, I'm comfortable. Okay, I'm comfortable, especially sometimes I have those different accidents and I have to do lots of changes throughout the day. Okay, anyways, that's another story. We talked about that yesterday. We're gonna do it again. Mm -mm, no, no. Um, but yeah, so let me see here. Oh, I got my hair stuck inside my oh, is this my hair? What is this? Oh, the yarn. Got my lower got the yarn stuck around the button. Let me see. Okay, let me see. Okay, there we go. Get this out of here. I just want to kind of button it up and let it lay upon the jacket because I think that's how people wear it. I don't really know. I don't wear these, but I, I want to pretend that I do so that way I can get some sales. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but seriously, this is how you do it. And uh, it does take a, it does help you with your style. Now, again, you can. Beverly Lee, you better get in. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. This is my story. This is my song. Okay. I uh, don't know where that came from. Hey, right, we feel good. You start singing. It's like when you eat one of those good meals. You start singing. I, you start dancing. Oh, I eat a good meal. I start. It's just like that. It's something about music and dancing, singing and dancing. It just like uh, it just puts you in that mood. But you are also in a mood to actually move. Sometimes you feel so good you can't help but move. You don't even care who's watching. You're like, man, I feel good today. You ain't gonna stop this. <laughs> no, um, that's a part of rejoicing and be glad in it. That's what it is. So some people are like, what is that? I'm rejoicing and, and being glad in it because this is the day that the Lord has made, and that's how I show it. You might show it by you know, smiling at somebody, you might show it by whatever. I like to show mine by a little dance, a little smile, a little uh, singing, you know, a little smiling. So this is how it's working here, guys. We're going to open that baby up, let that baby drape, okay? All right? Now, back in the day, if this was a bandana, you might thought I was trying to stick the place up or I was at a saloon. But right now, I'm showing you what style and fashion can be, all right? So you can have the hair up and a little ponytail. Some people call them pigtail. 
Uh, you can have that baby off to the side if you want to just side it <laughs> and then slide it. You know, you can have a little sassy girl next door look. Uh, you can do a, you know, whatever you want to do. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to probably take a picture of this once it's done. We're going to work on the body, more body. Okay. And then some edging. So shout out to Nana Scrappy Home. Hey, Nana. Thank you for these amazing patterns. You are a true beast. You are the bomb.com. Okay. What's going on, sis? Queen e is in a building. Thank you so much. It's DOI. Thank you for everybody that's here. I love you all. I hope your day is going delicious and amazing, y'all. What y'all working on? Anybody got something going on uh, that you are working on if you haven't shared already? Now I'm going to get, let's put some more into it. It's a very easy pattern, which I totally adore. You know what I mean? I like the little quickables. If I'm not designing my pattern myself, I like to toss in a quick pattern from someone else in between time or buy some patterns and things that sort. Anybody have any announcements? We got birthdays this month. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You guys tell me about the birthdays. I know we do have Grandma Mimi's birthday this this month. Hey, Grandma Mimi. We got a lot of family members whose birthdays are this month. Our son's birthday is this month as well on the 12th. And so we got a lot of family members. Uh, and we learned that Lefty, one of our friends, and family members by the name of Lefty's birthday is like, uh, I believe his birthday is on the 13th with Grandma Mimi's. Woo -woo. Hey, y'all, we got a lot of family members. We're not playing. So let me share with you what this crap is looking like. And uh, we're going to have some fun. I'm excited about that, guys. Let me show you what we're doing today. Overhead, again, we are talking about um, we are talking about uh, a puff stitch, but Nana calls it pineapple. And then we're also talking about the in-between rows, which is going to be some double crochet. All right. Here we go here. All right, guys, let's see here. Let me get into my stream yard. Okay, you guys ready for this? Here you go, stream yard. If I can find it. I guess I can take off the jacket now. Look, your hubby birthday is the 23rd. Woo -woo, that's what I'm talking about. Happy Friday, everybody. Yes, happy Friday. Okay, so are y'all doing anything, Cindy Boucher? Because I know you got to enjoy your day. Y'all got to enjoy your day. You got just some delicious edible edibles. <laughs> I don't know. I don't call them edibles, but I guess, I mean... Certain words have been corrupted over the years, okay? So not necessarily corrupted, but, you know, mean other things. We have multiple meanings these days. But I feel like edibles is something like edible arrangements, right? It's fresh fruits, you know, your chocolates, your cheesecakes, you know? So, hey, we still should be able to say certain words, help the Lord. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, get into what I would say my craft hour over hand. You're going to see my hands, and then you're going to see my face. We're going to do a double dip. And uh, we're going to work on this baby. I don't know, uh, I don't know what the trim is, but I'm going to look at it and see. I believe it could be possibly, oops, one row of trim. I'm hoping uh, because I got to know. I have to know how much yarn I have left. I'll show you guys exactly how much yarn I have left since I've been working on this. And I think it fits pretty decently. You know, I'll go with this. This size isn't too bad that I have right now. Let me see. Enter, enter. Okay, let me. I'll oh, have to meet this part.
Sorry, guys. I was telling you guys a story. I said my my um my bracket messed up on me, and I needed a new bracket. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot I was on mute. I was like, I need a new bracket. My bracket's acting up on me. I need a new bracket. I've been taking pictures. I've been doing good things. Now my bracket's tore up, and I almost had this day rough at moment because I'm taking pictures. Next thing you know, my bracket just crumbles on me, and I'm like, oh, you ain't nothing without David Ruffin. I'm, you know, I, was, I really was upset. Okay, so I was upset about that. All right, guys. So here is my hands. Here is my hands. Now let me see if I can fix my bracketo, my bracketino. My phone is tilted back because any given time it's probably gonna pop out of here. Do you pop out at parties? <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, I I was muted and I was rambling. They probably needed a break from all that anyway. Something more. <laughs> I can't stop. Once I stop that, once I start, it's like eating Pringles. I can't stop. It's like shut it. I, know. I had it on so many report cards as a kid. Damn, it's very talkative. I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? Now people love it. They're like, oh my gosh, you're so easy to, how do you talk so much? I, I'm so scared to get in front of the camera and talk like you do. Well, hey, tell my teachers that because they, put, <laughs> they made it seem like it was bad when I was a kid. They didn't like it. <laughs> Maybe because they were talking too. Okay, never mind. Anyways, guys, so this is what it's looking like up close. That was your thing. This is the first Let me show you what it looks like, guys. Okay. Uh, let me show you guys what it's like. And again, when I give you the yarn, oops. <laughs> so I it was going to pop out, guys. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, sorry guys, I know it's gonna pop out. I'm not, so I'm getting my new my new one's coming in Amazon today in any given moment. Uh, okay, so no stress. All right, no stress. It'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. See yeah. her. All right. So, um, but yeah, when I give you this yarn for the giveaway, guys, feel free. I mean, you can use it as your own giveaways. Like you know what I'm trying to say, like. If you just say you don't like size three, I never thought I would like size three, but I like these colors. It was a color for me. So I was like, I don't care about size three because the colors are everything. Like they have such beautiful color transitions, even if you want to double up or something. But I like, I'll just use bigger hooks. I don't even care. I'll use an eye hook, a J hook. I don't care what I, <laughs> you know, especially for a drape. If it's a coat, like a shawl or something, I'll use a, I'll use a bigger hook to get that drape. But give it away. If you want to do a giveaway, give it away to somebody. Have some fun. I, I don't really care. I'm giving the yarn away to you. So you can do it away, do what you want with it. Give it away to somebody, you know, make it up, whatever you want to do. I, I really don't care. You know, I'm not saying in a bad way like that. I'm just saying that um, it's all good. You know what I'm trying to say? It is all good because yarn is a gift that keeps on giving. You know, GGP's in the building. Good morning. Hey, y'all. Come on, Maritza. Everybody, welcome in. Good morning, Mary. Oh, told you guys, I can't. I'm so, I'm ready for this to be done. Mm -mm -mm. So we're canceled. Sorry, guys. I'm just over this. I cannot wait till my new one comes in. It'll be coming soon from Amazon today. I do not like when I don't have my proper equipment. I should have had it already ordered. My husband ordered me one already. So I already knew it's coming, but we just didn't know when. And I, you know, sometimes we don't know when. It's just too hard for business areas. So I'll have another one. I'll have a double dip. So I'm okay with having two. I love having two of everything or multiples. I'm a big grabber when I grab stuff. So let's see here. We're going to get into, I give away most of what I make. Yeah, I sold a few pieces mainly. I know I love giving away stuff or selling either one because it's just a blessing. I always do that. You know, especially we got a lot of stuff. It's like, you know, why not bust somebody? It's just a good feeling, anyways. You know, many of us in this community are givers, anyways. We can't help ourselves. People are like, you give too much. You do this. I mean, we can't help ourselves. It's just, you know, it's a beautiful thing. So this is what the colors looking like so far. And they're just two repeat rows. So you're going to have like this mesh row of like double crochet chain one, if you notice it here. And then you're going to have this row of like the puff stitch, but Nana calls it a pineapple stitch. You can call it whatever you want when it's your pattern. So you have a pineapple stitch and a chain. So you're just going to do that, but you're also going to increase in your center. So that's always going to be like two stitches with a, a separation of two chains. Two chains. Um, and then you're going to have in the beginning of each row, you're going to do your two stitches in the same stitch as well as in the end. So that's how it's basically going. That's what it's going like for us, okay? Uh, and then after that, um, we're just going to do a, uh, they have a, um, she has a, an edging that we can do as well. And I love her patterns because they come with tutorials, guys. They come with tutorials. I'm telling you, there's nothing like it. Okay, so let's see what we got going on. What's, uh, do, 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 do. This is today's craft. 
they come with they come with tutorials. So I know a lot of my family members are like, man, I want to make all these different things. They're intimidating. I don't really know about all these different stitches. You know, because especially if you're a beginner, like if someone sees this and you're a beginner, like it'll trip you out because if you have like a stitch book, this will like show you puff stitch. You know, for the average stitch book, this is this is really technically the puff, right? We know this and we're good with that. But we understand that when you start writing your patterns, you can, if you want to change the name of whatever you want, you can because it's your pattern. So if I'm a beginner and I'm like, oh man, I know my pup stitches. I know this. And then I go to read hers and she says, oh, this is pineapple. My mind is going to have me like pineapple. I know my stitch book says pup stitch. So it's really good to have those visuals because you're like, oh, okay, cool. She, this is her. This is her. You know what I'm trying to say? This is her technical. This is her term. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like our slang. Like I say pop, you say soda. We got our own ways of saying it. It's still going to taste the same. <laughs> It's still going to taste the I don't care if you call it pop. I'll call you soda. I don't care if you put them together and call them soda pop. At the end of the day, that Pepsi is still going to taste the same. <laughs> Unless you get the kind without sugar or natural sugar or less sugar or cherry Pepsi, vanilla Pepsi. Can we just get back to it? You can tell I had no Pepsi in a while. You can tell, but I love it. But yeah, I love you. You heard that? Hey, I love y'all. Good morning, y'all. Tell me something good, y'all. What's going on for the weekend? Y'all staying safe for the weekend? What y'all going on? Anybody? Hanging out with some family. Tell me something good, guys. Y'all gonna say positive this weekend or what? Anybody digging into some negativity? No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. Um, thank y'all for those who enjoyed my reel. I posted a reel. I fell asleep trying to make it. Last night, I made it up. I was like, oh, I want to post this. Now, it's not as clear as I wanted to be so far as the footage, but you get the message and you can see what's going on in it. Um, and so I posted that uh, this morning because I was actually, like I said, it's trying to work on it last night before bed and I passed out. We wanted to watch a movie um, on BT plus shout out to BT plus shout out to Tyler. Well, <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, I hope you're watching me, Tyler. Cause you used to be over here all the time. I don't know what happened, but I know you got busy. So I'll be to you. I'll come to you every night, Tyler, until you come over here. Uh, so anyways, we, we, one of the newer movies starring um, Nari, Natari, uh, Houghton, I believe. Oh, Naughton. Help me Lord. Anyways, she had a newer movie also with um, a young man by the name of Jason. He's going to give me the Mitchell. Anyways, we fell asleep on it. I fell asleep on it. My husband's enjoying it. I said, honey, I don't really want to watch this by, right now because it's like two in the morning. I'm going to fall asleep. And I like to, I like to enjoy a movie. I don't know about you guys, but um, I enjoy a movie. And it's called I Am King or I, or she is King. Call her King or something like that. Her last name's King. Okay. Uh, and I just wanted to see. I saw the the trailer years months ago whatever time and i've noticed that she was tapping into a little martial arts spirit so i was like oh okay a little a little you know a little um warrior woman i love i love a good warrior woman anyway so i was like honey i don't i just i'm not gonna wait to watch it because i'm gonna be tired so um we're gonna probably watch it later on today or today either one but yeah so i was waking on this reel and i'm like i want to show people you know yeah it just came out yesterday i was like oh, okay well hey. I didn't know it was out either. <laughs> I didn't know either. I was like, oh, I forgot about the movie. I forgot about the movie. I saw the clips. I was like, oh, it looks like a nice little movie. You know, a uh, little woman fighting back, fighting strong. I like, you know, the concept. I love a good concept. You know, I love that because sometimes we, it, it, not even just from women, but sometimes we feel so fearful or whatever. And next thing you know, guys, we're like, man, we just defeated ourselves. But to see the empowerment is beautiful to me. You know what I'm trying to say? The empowerment and through the knowledge and through wisdom and through um education you know what i'm trying to say like I, I want that power i want power because every single time somebody say something to me i have some a response and i gotta snap at somebody that's not showing power honestly i'm gonna throw it out there that's not because that's actually making my blood pressure go up it's offering that's bringing extra stress to me that is you know i'm probably going to be doing it in front of somebody else that's showing that i'm not the best in, example to be led by People are always watching. My, my husband was talking to one of our friends. I went to school with him and we're about the same age. He's actually about a, a year younger, but, you know, depending on when your birthday falls in the month or the year, you know, you'll go to school with, you know, someone maybe a year younger. My birthday's at the end of the year or whatever. And uh, so anyways, we're talking, he was talking on the phone and I don't think he knew I was there or maybe he did. I, I can't tell you. But they're just talking, and next thing you know, he's like, oh, yeah, you guys got a great platform, and Dana's so kind and so nice. And I was like, what? It drew me off. I was like, oh, snaps. You know, certain times you just need those little 
a little, you know, a little, a little pokes because I had no idea. He was like, oh, Dana's just so kind and so nice. I was like, what? Never, you know. I mean, I think as he's getting older, he's kind of like tapping into more of his uh, the way he was talking. Like I, I love the way he was talking, just like you know, doing like little reviews. And he's like, "Oh yeah, I went to this place and they had this, and it was." I'm like, I like the way he was talking. It was just like he was just like letting it all out, you know, like without no. I don't know if he knew, but he knew. Like he was just like letting out all his feelings. Like, oh yeah, well, da, 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 you know, you know, I love kittens. Like it wasn't that, but it was like, oh yeah, I love kittens, but people don't really like kittens. But kittens are really nice. Like he wasn't talking about kittens at all, but the fact that he was just like. Like this is my opinion. I'm standing on it, and it, it is what it is. I like that. I was like, mm, okay, I'm a little older there, but um, it was just nice just to hear that because, like I said, people don't—you never know who's watching. And so I like power by showing how how strong I can be. Strength is so beautiful when you don't have to respond or react on something. You can just smile at that thing and say, you know what, it's all good. The old me probably would have snapped or, and went crazy and tried to get a little revenge. The old me probably would have done these things. But the new me says, I don't have no time. If I spend all this time trying to get back at you, I don't waste all my time from making some dineros, getting my grind on, networking, resting, snacking, or even catching a, a fun, delicious movie. You know, the minute you take away all that extra burden and you give your problems to the Lord and you say, I can't deal with that, and you take on what you're supposed to take on, things run so much smoothly. And I'm in, I'm in a smooth season now. You know, they'd be like, oh, your babies ain't babies no more. You got your time for yourself. Well, we do have one child who was not 10 years old yet, and we still have time with him. But right now, it is I'm I'm back into business and my craft and my art. And I love what I do. I'm doing my nonprofit organization. I have I have things I have to do. And 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 uh stress is not a part of any of those things. And will it stress come? It will. But as you grow, you'll find ways to deal with it that don't involve self-medicating, don't involve uh, mistreating the next person or putting the next person down to come up. They won't involve you um, spreading any type of negativity. They'll only involve you being uplifting uh, and progressing, all right? And yes, there'll be times where it feels like it's hard and they'll get harder, but all that strength that you built up it won't be as bad because you built strength up all this time. All the times when you weren't reacting and you weren't snapping or some people use the term clapping back, you were not doing any of that. Now, when you feel weak and you can't make it because you have so much going on, use that strength. That's when you use all that stuff that you were bottling up and, and storing. You were storing up that, all that extra energy from not clapping back and not snapping back. You can use that to fight, to get through that pain that you're dealing with right now when you might have lost a loved one, that pain that you're dealing with when you may have be a little bit broker and, and the money's not a joke. All those things, I'm telling you, that's when you use that. You don't use it to cuss out uh, Bertha down the street. Bertha, she's all right. Let her stay down there, okay? That's not going to do anything for you. It's not going to do anything for you to go and, and, and snap on somebody because all you're going to have to do, especially if it's family and friends, you're going to end up finding it. Finding yourself having to apologize. They might work at a restaurant and you got like, you done cussed them out. Now you don't know if they're spitting your food, your drink. You don't know if they drop your steak and they picked it back up. You don't know what they did now. So, hey, take the time to use that energy to put it into what you need to get done. You know what I'm trying to say? Mama, you better get in here. I love you, mama. How you doing? Thank you for being here. Hey, beautiful Nancy. Nancy. Hey, Nancy, you better stop playing with me this morning. Hey, Nancy's in the building. Well, amazing members is in the building. Nancy, how are you doing today, y'all? This young lady right here. I'm just going to tell you something about Nancy. Let me tell you about Nancy. Oh, seriously. When I started writing patterns, guys, I really didn't know if they were any good. <laughs> no, no, I love my patterns, but, you know, it doesn't matter about me loving them. It's still about you guys loving them, too, right? Because I got to get a couple sales. Hey, money don't grow on trees, and I'm trying to find different ways to make it, and also uh, to just to be able to take care of the family and do different things on my end, you know, and, and do it in a way that I like. Doing the job that I actually like, right? Um, so, I'm trying to tell myself, what can I do to do these things? And one was making patterns. I've bought so many patterns over the years, and I enjoy buying patterns. It's such a fun, sweet thing, but I was uh, I was not sure if anybody would even like them. But when I started sharing you guys my patterns and my work, this young lady by the name of Nancy just started tapping into them and loving my patterns. What's going on, goat? You better get in here. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. I was making these patterns up, and Nancy's like, oh, damn, this is beautiful. I was like, 
I wasn't saying like that to her, but I was just like, really? I, I love the complimenting because it may, when people tell you that, it's like when you're kids, you're like, oh, you did such a good job with your coloring sheet. Next thing you know, they color in every single second. They're showing you, they put one more color in it. Mom, what about now? I'm like, oh, I love it. It's beautiful. And they go back and put another color. Oh, look, look it. I'm like, okay, all right. Just maybe put two colors on this time. You don't got to show me every color. Why don't you just color the whole face? You don't have to just show me one little spark. Just color the whole face, baby. When you're done with the face, come back to me. Now you got to say, when you come back, when you're done with the whole person, come back to me. When you're done with the whole sheet, just come back, baby. But she was doing that for me and, and, and not just her, many of you. I just want to show, we love Nancy right now. Nancy's getting the love. She would make the patterns of, and I had no idea when I would go to my rivalry and it would show like projects because I, I always had to put projects up or different patterns I've done. And I'm like, projects? I'm looking and I'm noticing her projects in my, in my rivalry that she's done of my patterns. And I was just so blown away. Like I think like that was like a little teary-eyed moment because just to see someone and, and also the late David Brown, I love you, David, rest in peace. He had his items there. He was doing them and making items, sending them to opera singers, famous opera singers. And he was so happy about that. And she was happy about receiving the project as well to see like my work and somebody's projects. It was beautiful. Shout out to you, Nancy. Thank you for, um, thank you for that sweetness of you uh, and that kindness that you exude. Uh, that, that type of stuff right there shows your heart, but it also helps others to pay it forward. And I love that, you know, thank you for brightening days. Some people don't know, um, what people are going through and, and, and I love God who he is because I had closed mouth, don't get fed. And if you actually shall receive, and there's so many different things that I want to do and need to do. And when you have family members, um, uh, who understand what you're doing and they believe in, in you you get that support. It's a beautiful thing. So it's like, hey, if you believe in me, you're supporting me, I can't play. I can't play, guys. You're not going to give me a chance to play. So I got to I gotta make sure I stay on what I'm doing and uh, and show my appreciation. It's about showing your appreciation. Like, do you really, do you really appreciate me? Because if you say, I appreciate you guys, I appreciate you guys, you got to do more than saying it. You got to talk about that thing. So I, I want to do more and show more. And uh, hey, thank you. Hey, thank you, Queen. Thank you, Queen. You better get in here. I hope your morning is going beautiful this morning. I'm just trying to work on this delicious little wrap. I mean, not necessarily a wrap, guys, but this is a triangle scarf. And I love the puffing. Uh, you guys, again, I'm just kind of going back and reiterating about my newest video I posted. And it is uh, involving my yarn tree that I have created. Hit the thumbs up, guys. It is about my yarn tree that I created. And it's showing a bit of the stash. I really want to get rid of some of it, possibly. I, I want to do some monthly. I would love to just do monthly giveaways. I'm trying to get rid of it. If you guys really take it to another level with the yarn tree, again, many of us are maybe not as creative as others, but if you really are creative and you want to make a yarn tree and you really like take it somewhere, if you make it gold, gold buzzer status, you're going to get that yarn sent out to you. There's and 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 that's just it. It's not you're not going to have to be drawn out of a bucket, you're going straight to the top and you're taking the yarn, uh, but you're not going to be the only winner. There's multiple buzzer, golden buzzers. It might be all golden butter, buzzers. I don't know. But again, at the end of the day, the better, the you know, the more creative, the better. Yeah, Zana, we should always pay it forward and help anyone who needs help. And do, hey, man, come on, Nancy. I was like in tears. I like had this whole morning full of tears and rejoicing. And I just worked so hard yesterday. I filmed so many videos and I have to edit them, but I did my video of me using finally my attachment for my Centro. And it, I guess it's also for the Addy. It's, it's also, it's a drill attachment or you use your electric screwdriver. I went through this video. I can't wait to show you guys. I went through this video trying to take off the handle. I did all these, I'm putting it all in there too. I'm putting it all in there guys. I said I did all these different steps and didn't realize what kind of attachment I had because I guess there's multiple attachments and you know you can attach them in different ways. I'm doing all this different stuff, guys. Stressing myself out, Lord, and didn't even need to do all of this. Uh, I can't wait to see the video, guys. But yeah, I, I really worked hard, and I was I was like I was sat, I sat on the porch. I did a lot of this here. We did a live last night. Me and my husband. So I'm just I'm ready. I'm so full throughout. I'm so hungry that. I'm just, you know what I'm trying to say? I, I filmed a video for my vlog channel. I wrote a hoverboard yesterday for my vlog channel. So you're going to see that on Triple Team TV. 
where you'll see some behind the scenes little, you know, I'm going to edit my mother-in-law's birthday vlog. That's going to be edited. So I'm doing some things tonight. We have game night. We bring back game night. We have some puzzles, word puzzles. It'll be more audience based so people can enjoy that there. Uh, it's a true, true blessing. And oh, what is this right here? Donna. And this must be an accident, Donna, isn't it? And okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. Anybody else working on anything? I'll tell me what's going on, y'all. Upper day is going great. I really do. Okay. I really hope it's going great, guys. It's and mine is going great so far. So good. So far, so good. I'm going to be a game night. Hey, game night. And again, next week we're gonna have Tringo. Okay, so don't be don't forget. Monday I'll start taking those Tringo numbers in. Yeah, game night. We're gonna bring it back. Um, lately I've been doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at nighttime, especially over these summer months. It's been helping me to uh, do things for my nonprofit channel and uh, Instagrams and editing. It's really been a big help for me. The nightly, it it's great, you know, Monday through Friday, but. At the same time, I'm now ch jumping into several avenues <laughs> of revenues. Hey, I'm jumping into revenues and avenues. And so it's in order for me to do them to my best ability and capability, I must have time in between to actually work. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm like, well, no work's getting done. You know, it was getting kind of stressful because I'm like, no work's getting done. But I, I don't have those work days. I'm, I'm not having work days to like in between, you know, like I, I have to have those days and I'm seeing how, how great they are and I'm actually utilizing them. It's different. You got a couple off days, you just sitting around like, you know, I was getting set for, I'm like, man, I'm just going to sit around and snack a little bit, watch a couple of TV. I'm binge watching every TV show. Nothing's getting done. Like, well, nothing. And now I'm like, man, I got these hours. I'm, I'm like, I get these hours. You know, it's, it's a beautiful, thing. oh my goodness, I still got time. Okay. What can I do next? It's beautiful. It's, it's just something, I don't know. I think it's just I've been wanting to grow. I always want to grow. I always tell you that. And I think the more you want something, it'll happen for you. The more you want it, because you're going to go get it. And I've been wanting such just, I just want peace and love and growth and strength. I want all these different things so bad that I'm just, I'm going to get them, you know? And yeah, I took a break. I, everybody deserves one, you know, but me and my self-control and disciplinary uh, uh, skills are not always the best because I never know when the, when enough is enough. Hey, when I take a break, I don't, I'm taking, I took a break, break. You know, you know, some people use a double wording for certain things. Yeah, I was breaking, breaking on that one because I, I didn't know how to get, I didn't know how to get back to work. It's like, you know, summer break for the kids. And then it's time for school, the first day of school, they're like, man, school already? Like, man, <laughs> already? Man, what happens to late nights and the this and the that? The gameplay, the video games. Now I got to wake up early in the morning again. What? You know, so that's how it was for me. I'm like, man, I was just having a ball. But um, I, I I do love my work too, though. And it, and uh, I think sometimes you forget how much you love them when you haven't been doing it in a while. And and it feels like, man, I got to just start all over again. But at the same time, you're not starting all over again because this is who you are. You can't start yourself over again. You can refresh. Okay, that's that, that's something different. Refreshing is just refreshing. You're just you're there, but you're just kind of collecting yourself and you're letting that thing, you know, gathering, regathering, but you're there. That foundation's built. It's set in stone. There's nothing that can change it. You know, it's nothing that, that can change it. And I know that for myself, I have such a, I have a foundation filled with so many different things that it's a lot. I have a lot of skills. I have a lot of whatever it may be. And sometimes I got, I just want to like sit in the background, you know, like I just want to sit in the background and not use any of my skills, but I can't help myself because that's who I am. You know, I'm going to help if I know how to help somebody do it. I'm going to, you know, whatever it is, that's just who I am. I can't, I can't stop it. And I think now I just got to realize and just accept it and just be like, this is who you are. Just do it. Just do the stuff that you're doing. You know, everybody can't do all those types of things and it's not your, uh, it's not my uh, my my uh, my job to lower my work ethic or stop my skill set or stop my hunger to grow or attain more skills because someone does not have them and and, and it's not a, and I'm not saying it in a bad way but I have done that I'm, I have done that I have slowed myself down in order to um in order to. Mm, let me see. In order to do, 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 mm, remain 
uh, in atmospheres with those who don't grow as much as I do. So I'm like, oh, okay, it's not a really a growing atmosphere. So this is more like a chilled atmosphere. So I just, I'll chill. Uh, and it, it, there's so much, so much chilling we can do. <clears throat> and so I said, you know what? I have to go back to the growing atmosphere. And when I found the growing atmosphere, I said, oh, okay, ain't nobody else here? <laughs> uh, okay, well, hey, this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take my earphones. I'm going to take my hook. I'm going to take my arm. And I'm going to use this into my best ability. And I'm going to make it happen on my own. Uh, I'll be a baby Tyler. I told my husband I'll be a baby Tyler. Uh, my husband, he's always working. He's always that. Uh, he's the help. He helps me so much to the T because he knows like I have 80 different jobs that I want uh, and, and, and the skills that I want. So, but uh, my, my goal now is just to grind and I'm loving it. I, I have to get back to it I, because I'm, hey, I'm not even 36 yet. So, Hey, I got to do what I got to do. I, I want so many different goals by the time I'm 40. So I, I have to do it. I, I have to do it. I have a lot of stuff now that I've already achieved, but I need more. I need more and I need to be I need to be active in all of them. I don't want to just have them. Like I told you guys before, I don't want to just have these things. I need to be active in everything. So that's what I'm working on. I'm working on. But sometimes when you're doing it, when you're like like uh, the Tyler, shout out to Tyler. I know I keep showing him love, but hey, he's over here. He's one of my members. Shout out to Tyler Perry. He's one of my members. He didn't only buy BT and VH1, but he also bought my channel. Shout out to Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> so I appear about my channel too, guys. All right. What anyway, you Shout out to Tyler. Seriously, when you are like writing, directing, if you're doing it all, like it, it doesn't, you don't always get to don't do it as fast. It doesn't always come out as fast, you know? So uh, sometimes if you're watching one of his shows or anything, you're like, man, when does the new season come out? Hey, give him a break. Okay. He's doing it all. And so that's how it is for me sometimes. I'm like, I'm doing it all. Give, and I have to give myself a break too. But um, that's why I said having those days off, that Tuesday and that Thursday off, uh, not necessarily off, it's just offline, but I, you'll see me on other social media. You'll see me on my Instagram. You'll see me on my vlog channel. So I'm trying to give you other things in between time if I'm not live. You know, you may see some cooking with my husband. You know, you may see us go somewhere. But again, it's me also having that time to say, okay, cool. I can send out packages that need to be sent out. I can think of a new giveaway. I can edit a tutorial because I want to have my tutorials back out. You know, I can edit this and I can do, I had that time to do it. And it's a true, true blessing. y'all. So I'm just rambling because it's Friday and I'm excited about Friday. I don't, I don't know why I'm excited. I'm just, I'm excited. You know, we do have this gathering. I don't know if we're going to do it. A young lady at our church is celebrating her birthday. She's one of our pastors. Well, not necessarily our pastors, but she's a pastor. She doesn't pastor our church, but she attends our church. And she has a birthday party, and it's going to be tomorrow. She said it's black. You're going to wear black and white or silvers and things like that. She said like, everything easy. She said she don't want it to be hard for people because she said like, she wants everybody to come. You know, you pick those hard colors. Ain't nobody coming along. Or they just wear what they want. You're like, oh, yeah, give me a bit of a flamingo pink, <laughs> a salmon pink, or give me a bit of an aqua. You're like, oh. I'm going tropical theme, guys. We're doing luau, so I'm going to want your tropical colors. Give me a yellow, maybe a pale pink, maybe a teal. And you're like, I don't got none of that. You know, so she's like, y'all, just put what you got on. Put your usher outfit on if you got that. Just put your, put your usher outfit on. So uh, she said, this is where black, white, silver, and things of that sort. I said, okay, I do have a dress. Me and my husband both have some black and silver that we haven't worn at never. We never wore it yet. And um, so I said, that's a good thing. We um so um what was I gonna say guys yeah so we have that we might go depending on my mother in law has been letting us use her vehicle so it's been a blessing and so I don't know if we're gonna go to it or not but if we do we all already have something to wear so that's a good thing but uh, I was thinking I says I love birthdays I just I do you know because lately it's been a lot of family members who've been passing away whether it be children adults you know elders. And so when you're able to get that birthday in, guys, it's a beautiful feeling to get another year. It really is, you know. So I'm just grateful uh, to be able to celebrate with anyone who has a, another day coming in, you know. So that's all I'm saying, guys. It's, it's a beautiful thing, you know. Some people don't like, don't care about celebrating their birthday. But as I understand, you know, everybody has their own ways. But just be grateful. I, I, if you don't want to make a party out of it, don't have a party. 
or anything like that, but just be grateful because you did get that year. And, and when I say be grateful, think about a two year old who got hit by a car and didn't make it to three years old, who really didn't even make it out of Pampers. When you, when I say be grateful, think about a teenager who was walking home from school with their earphones in and didn't hear the gunfire and was gunned down on their way home just after school, maybe even after uh, getting an A, their first A on their report card, and, and then get to make it to show their parents. Think about, when I say grateful, think about the young kid who's in the hospital, the children's hospital with leukemia. You know what I'm trying to say? Who's fighting for their lives daily. So if you get that year, you don't have to have a party. You don't have to boast and brag, but just celebrate a new day of life, a new year that somebody else didn't even get. You know what I'm trying to say? Just celebrate that. And if you don't want to do anything for yourself, say, it's my birthday. Go bless somebody with a meal. You know, I don't party. I don't go out to dinner, but I want to bless you with a meal. Because, hey, this is another, I was blessed for another year. So here, I would like to hear. Here goes a gift card. You know what I'm saying? There, there's ways to do that thing. There's ways to do it. So, you know me, guys. I'm going to rap. I'm going to ramble. You guys don't get that. Because I'm don't get. i not getting any comments. So I'm just rambling. But I'm just grateful. And, and that's all I want to basically is just speak on. Just being grateful because. It, it's a good feeling to, it's a good feeling to be able to be grateful. You know what I'm trying to say? It is. It feels good. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing how this is working right now. It is. Okay. Okay. There we go. Mm. Hey. Grandma Mimi's in that building. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not full screen. No full screen. There we go. Hey, Grandma Mimi, how you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Grandma Mimi, how's, how you feeling? You know, that day is coming soon, Grandma Mimi. Oh, thank you so much, Nancy, for those kind words. You love craft art? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I love craft art. It's almost been three years, Nancy. Can you believe it? I'm excited about this 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 uh, this scarf. I, I stole my son's blue jean jacket. And I'm gonna take some pictures. <laughs> I'm gonna take some pictures outside and uh, and and have some fun with it and see how it works. I'm excited to see. A lot of times people wear their blue jean jackets with these triangle scarves, and I'm like, I don't have a blue jean jacket, you know. I don't really wear triangle scarves either. I really I don't. But every time I see them, people are wearing them with blue jean. I, I think they pair really nicely with blue jean, though. Um, but yeah. I'm going to wear it today. I'm going to steal my son's jacket, go outside, take cold pictures and work on it. I'm going to get this edging and things done. I wanted to get the edging done here on live, but I may, I may just do it. I may, I'm probably, I'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. If I don't get it done here, maybe I'll just do a quick vid or a picture on the community tab. But I don't know if you guys are in my Facebook group, but if you are Facebookers, don't forget to join my Facebook group too and put some of your finished objects. So I have a lot of family members. You guys are like, nope, not a YouTuber. <laughs> Don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't do it. But if you do, if you do, are on, if you're on Facebook, I have some Facebook family who are in the chat right now. Thank you, Facebook family. If you are on Facebook, feel free to join my crochet group, guys. You're so welcome to do so. You can post your links to your channel. If you have videos coming up, you're live right now, whatever it is. Post it, guys. This is the link right here. So please click that link. Join my Facebook group. Show your finished objects. If you have something going on, if you want to, if you have some yarn, you're like, oh, I have two of these colors. I want one more. Anybody have this color? Whatever you want. There's like, there's no really real rules. There, there's like three rules. Like keep it crafty. Like don't talk about like any race or politic talk. Don't um, like bully anybody for their like craft. Like we have different levels of crafters. Like no bullying. No, like political chat, and then just keeping it crafty. So, like, it, it just keep it crafty. That's all. That's all the only rules. So, like, you can promote. Like, I'm a big promoter lover. You know, I mean, maybe not necessarily on my channel per se, unless you're a member. If you're a member here, then promote away. But on my YouTube, on my Facebook, I don't care if you're, <laughs> you're a member of the Facebook group. So, promote away. Put your links to your channel. Do whatever you want, um, and have a ball because that's what we're we're about. We're not going to know anything unless we tell each other, right? I, I don't know the barbecue's going on unless I smell it in the air. But anyways, that's what I'm speaking of, guys. So, are you going to hear that? Are you doing it now? Airing my tire? Yeah. All right, bro. Oh, you are. Look at some. And my Cadillac. Okay, so that's what we're doing today, guys. We're going to craft on. 
And I'm going to be honest, guys, I just really did an epic fail because I was yapping too long. And nobody told me this. Thank you, guys. Look, I was supposed to be doing double crochets. And look what I turned into. Puffs. Or pineapples. I don't know why it took me so long to get this road done. I'm like, this should be done by now. But it's not because I started doing the wrong stitch. But hey, I did this multiple times yesterday too. <laughs> Sit on the porch. I just was going and going and going and didn't realize I'd switched up the whole stitch. I was looking at it like, what am I doing here? Thank you, Nancy, for the kind words. Everybody, thank God for the kind words. I'm so happy. I think I want to have me a little coffee in a second or something. I have a little sweet tooth. I was so hungry yesterday for like a sweet tooth. <laughs> this is one. Of, I have some guilty pleasures, guys. Do you have any guilty pleasures? For many of you guys, y'all know sweetness is my weakness, and so I always try to find ways. Hey, Diana, welcome in. Welcome in here. Hit the thumbs up. Welcome in the building. Come on in. How you doing today? Thank you so much for coming in. I'm Dana, aka Triple C. Welcome in for the craft hour. We're working on a triangle scarf by Nana's Crafty Home. I'm using the Fleur's yarn. By Lion Brand Mandela. Coffee and chocolate. Love it. Yes. So this is what it looks like right here so far. Those are some of your guilty pleasures. Oh my goodness, yes. So I, I have like, I'm trying to lose this weight and I'm trying to get together here. So I, when I'm hungry and I want something sweet, if I don't have any apples or something like that, I will eat into, thank you so much. Yes, if you um, see my newest video, I'm doing a yarn giveaway and I'm trying to give away anywhere from 12 to 20 cakes of this. And it's international up until December 1st. December. Yes, December 1st. I'm trying to do multiple giveaways. If you created your very own yarn tree. Uh, I If you watch my video, you'll see exactly. It can be an indoor tree or outdoor tree. More creative, the better. And things of that sort. Okay, so yes. Um, so. But yeah, so we're doing this. I did. I asked, what is a yarn tree? Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, you did? I didn't get to see my comments. So, well, if you watch my first video, I have a video where I made a yarn tree. I have acquired several of these Mandela cakes for giveaways. And there's about 12 different colors. So I was thinking of that notion, like we always hear about our kids and they're always wanting things. If we have kids or if we were kids, right? And we're like, Money doesn't grow on trees, kids. Y'all just can't be, you know. And I was like, well, what if yarn grew on trees? We could just have yarn anytime we want it. And I had so much of this yarn that I was like, well, I want to make a tree out of it. So it was a nice, beautiful, sunny day. I went outside and I started wrapping my yarn with uh, thread. And if you see the video, I have a video. And I wrapped it around and I hung it up on my tree. I have an outdoor tree outside. An outdoor tree outside. I have a tree outside that I is very close to my house. And so I just stood in a chair and I started hanging it. And I don't recommend everyone do that. So I said, make one indoors. If you have a Christmas tree in the house or an artificial tree, whatever it may be, you can use you can use um yarn from the Dollar Tree, whatever it may be. But I did let everyone know the more creative the better. So if you take it to another level and you really like really like do your best you're going to get a golden buzzer you're not going to like have to wait and be like oh i wonder if i won i wonder if she's going to draw my name you're going to you're going to skip that drawing process you're actually going to just completely win you know what i'm trying to say like you're going to completely win so again if you take it to another level but i just wanted to have a little fun with it i felt like it would be a nice way to de-stash this yarn's coming from a smoke-free, pet-free home. I mean, I do have a guinea pig, but it's in my son's room. It's not my guinea pig. It's his room. So it's not necessarily any furs or anything. But anyways, it's a good yarn. It's great yarn, but I want to get rid of it. I got it for you guys, you know? Thank you, Cindy Boucher. Thank you. But yeah, so it's just basically a, a way to give up some yarn. I love giving away things. And thank you for being new to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the love. And... I like to do giveaways all the time. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm a big giveaway lover. So you'll see a lot of that over here. You'll see a lot of it because that's just who I am. And all those good things, okay? But yeah, today we're working on this scarf. It's a triangle scarf. And I'm loving the colors. I'm just loving it. It's like, it gives me, it's really rainbowy. 
Honestly, it's like a, a type of rainbow, honestly, really. Uh, but it's not necessarily the colors of the rainbow, you know, the technical colors, but it's really nice. I love this Nana. 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 I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. She does a lot of things that are easy for us to do. She does a lot of things that are beautiful for us to do. She gives us easy patterns, like I said, with yarn that ever. So she always recommends self striping yarns, color changing yarns from one to two cakes. She's very, very good at making it easy for us and convenient for us. And I love designers like that. That's what I try to do. I know I want to do for my patterns. If you haven't seen any of my patterns, I'm always giving them away. I have new patterns coming out very, very soon. Like so soon, guys. Yeah, some of y'all wanted to see this pattern right here come to life. What is it? Some of you guys are ready. Like, when is you releasing this pattern? You're taking forever. Guys, some of my patterns are coming. I don't know if I have it, a picture of it. I don't have it. Mm. It's on my Instagram, guys. Remember my Instagram. Feel free to follow it. But yeah, if you follow, get in my patterns on Etsy and Etsy and Robbery. Some of my patterns are not on Etsy yet. I have to go through and get them right, guys. I'm slipping here. All right, I'm slipping, guys. I got to get myself together. But yeah, go on to my Amazon or my Etsy and my Robbery, and you'll see my different patterns if you want to purchase any, okay? So, yes, feel free to grab up these patterns, guys, okay? To support my business, my merch. I have merch, you guys. You can grab up my, my you know, T-shirts or you want a bag, little Notions bag, whatever you want. But I, start, I, I have about, I'm getting close to 60 patterns right now. And so I was telling myself, I said, man, you know, with these patterns, I need to start, you know, kind of maybe doing some advanced patterns, maybe some intermediate because I do want to kind of jump into some, you know, but I always worry about, oh, well, I don't know if anybody's going to be able to do them. But like I said, you do have the word intermediate or advanced on there. Some people aren't going to be able to do it, you know? Some people are looking for something a little more advanced. Hey, Tiger Dragon Girl, welcome in the building. I hope your day is going great. How are you today? Thank you for coming in. I appreciate that love and that support. It feels good to see you in the building. But yeah, guys, I'm just almost working. I want to. Let me show you how much we have left. Let's see. Where's the, where's the rest of our cake at? Mm, this cake will be done in no time. I, I think it's because of the puff stitch or the pineapple stitch here that she uses. It, it eats up some of the yarn. So you don't, you know, it takes a little quicker. And plus, she recommends an a H hook, which is a five millimeter. But I ended up going up to a 5.5. I had to do it. I had to do it, guys. Okay. I had to do it. So that's what I did for this particular pattern. I wanted to go up a little bit because I wanted more drape. Plus, I wanted to get done quicker. Yeah, I'm telling you, when it comes to using this size three yarn, I definitely am a big fan. Okay. I am a big fan of. I am a big. Yeah. And then once you make a yarn tree, guys, make a video and do hashtag yarn tree. All right, hashtag yarn tree, guys. Okay, please, please, please. I'm sorry. After you do your video, okay, make sure hashtag yarn tree is in your description. But yeah, so I started using bigger yarn because I remember the time I was start. I, I've started several projects. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, I'll give you the guys the, the tutorial. It's a. I'm going to give you the written pattern. I'll give you the written pattern right now, but. She has several tutorials. She has the same. She has a tutorial for it too. But I'm on the page of the written pattern right now. But she does have tutorials for all these. The same exact pattern and more. Okay. So if you guys are hungry for this, here you go. I don't know if anybody has any announcements that you want to let us know. Please let us know, guys. Any announcements? Please let us know, guys. Okay. But yeah, so... I have to work on the edging, and this is only a little bit of cake left. Look at this little bit of cake. Look at that little bit of cake. I love it. So I'm going to have this done in no time. <laughs> but yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram links there. Some of my family members. Nightbot, check out Nightbot. Nightbot is doing a lot of the links to a lot of places that you don't want to miss out on. <laughs> and my group, my Instagram, if you buy things on Amazon and you want to support there, that's a huge help for me because I like, I'll get like maybe so many cents off from your whatever you buy and I can do like get Amazon gift card giveaways. I think I have like a couple of them. I, I think a couple of times, I think. Uh, and it'll keep me to be able to be an affiliate affiliate with them. 
That's like the only affiliate I am right now. I haven't really gotten to anything else, which I need to, but I just, I haven't. Um, and, but you can follow me on Instagram where you'll see my two channels, my two pages there. One is a fitness page. One is my crochet page. I started this journey and about, I don't know, about a couple years ago, I don't know, almost a couple years ago now. And I started working on losing weight because I reached 311 pounds, the biggest I ever was in my life. And my feet were tingling, my, finger my fingers were tingling, and I was scared I had diabetes. But I was so scared I didn't go to the doctor to see because I didn't want to hear it. I felt like once I heard the word diabetes, I would live it and I would start just accepting it because I had began to accept my weight. I was telling myself, oh, I'm good. I'm great. I can enjoy being who I am. I, I'm comfortable in my skin, which is very good to be. But I wasn't healthy and I was living very unhealthily. Um, there's no way that I, I'm out of breath after so many steps or I can't do certain things. That's not living healthy. So I started doing it and losing this weight. Uh, I want to say, I don't know if it was the fall of 22, 21 or the spring of 22. And uh, I started doing it. I lost some good weight. And then I took six months off and gained some of it back. So in October of 22, I got back into it. And I've been going strong since. And now I am at 208 pounds. And so I'm grateful for that. And so you'll see that on my fitness channel. And you'll see some things behind the scenes on my blog channel. We just call it Triple Team TV. I don't even know. I think I have an eye bot for it, but it might come up. Here it goes. Here it goes. Hey, there it goes. So you'll be able to see those things behind the scenes too. A little bit behind the scenes. So I'm going to go work on this a little bit and I'll be back tonight for game night. So if you guys want to hang out, you can play games. You can, you don't have to. You'll be in the chat. We'll probably do some word games. We'll have some fun. So someone in the chat, make sure if you don't have a PayPal or a cash app, Make one up before tonight so that way we can play and have some fun together, okay? And we can win some cash. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are the bomb.com. I can't make it without you guys. And thank you so much for your love and your support. I'll talk to you guys later on and enjoy your day, guys. Stay safe. And always remember to love on purpose and to live on purpose. Have a great day, guys. Thank you for joining me for Craft Hour Triple C. Take care.